Hi, welcome to this video about the save command for process with R. If you run a moderation or mediation or moderated mediation with process for R and you want to save the results, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do this. In this example I show you a simple mediation analysis and different ways how to save the results. Before starting this video I've initialized process so we can start with the mediation. And in order to save results, there are two things. We need to assign the result of the process function to an R object, and we need to use the save parameter. There are three different values for the save parameter. And I show you what you can save with which value for this parameter. Starting with save equals one, we can save the bootstrap estimates. Here we have our normal results for mediation analysis with process with one additional information. Here we have a map of column names. So process tells us which column for the safe bootstrap estimates corresponds to which value. Let's look at our saved object. So column one is the constant for a first regression model. That's not really interesting. Column 2 is the path from the independent variable to the mediator, that is, the A path of a mediation. Column 3 again is a constant for the second regression model. Column 4, in this case, independent variable to dependent variable, that is, the C prime path. And column 5, mediator to dependent variable, that is, the B path of the mediation. Of course, for a different model, you would get different columns, for instance, for moderation or for moderated mediation. In this case, with the mediation, what we are really interested in is the indirect effect. And that's the product of the A path and the B path. So let's calculate that. Now we have 5,000 bootstrap estimates for the indirect effect. And we could look at them, for instance, by drawing a histogram. So, this is the distribution of our indirect effect. That's the first use of the save option. The second one is if we want to save the output. That is, if we want to save the numbers we see in the process output. For that, we use save equals two. Let's look at the result. Here we get a tail, unfortunately without a legend, but it's quite simple to understand because it goes row by row. So let's look at the first row of our output. We have r, r squared, mean squared error, f statistic, degrees of freedom, degrees of freedom, and p-value. And this first row of the output we will find here in the first row of the table. And the last row here corresponds to the last row of the output. So in order to get the indirect effect, that would be this value here. So if you only wanted to look at the indirect effect, we would simply get it by accessing this specific element of this table. But the row in which this indirect effect is written depends on this model. If we used additional parameters, that is the total parameter or things like that, we would get additional rows in the output, and then we would get additional rows in this table as well. So if you want to use this kind of save function, you run the model, and then you look at the table, and by comparing the table to the process output above, you deduce which element of the table corresponds to the number you're interested in. There's a third option, save equals three, that's simply the combination of those other two options. Let's look at the structure of the saved object. The first part here, 5000 observations of five variables. 
Those are the bootstrap results. And the second part, that's our table. So first part and second part. So this way you can execute both save commands at the same time. So that's it for saving results from process for R. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Thank you so much for watching.